Hello everyone, welcome to section two, working with Khalid Next. All right, so in this section, what we're gonna learn is firstly, we'll be learning how to install the VMware tools, all right? So VMware tools are going to be our virtualization tools that will allow us to run Kali Linux much better and, and give us awesome features in the disk, uh, like a drag and dropping from the host to guest operating system, running the virtual machine in full screen mode, etc., etc. All right, we will then move on to learning how to update Kali Linux. Now, more specifically, we'll be looking at the correct way of updating the repositories, updating the packages, and then furthermore updating the distribution. After we've, we're done with the updating Kali Linux, we'll then move on to setting up proxy chains, right? So proxy chains is going to be our anonymity uh, provider in the sense that we will be configuring it to work with Tor and we're going to be tunneling our traffic through the Tor relay using proxy chains, okay? We will then move on to starting the different network services. Uh, so we're going to learn how to start these uh, services on Kali Linux, more specifically the most important services like SSH or the Apache 2 web server. Uh, all right. Then once we're done with that, we will then move into our quick win section where I'm going to be showing you how to hack a WordPress installation. So, so we're going to be looking at some basic exploitation of WordPress. And this is going to hopefully introduce you into the world of hacking. All right, so that is what we're going to look at in section two, and uh, let's get started. In this video, we're going to be installing VMware tools on Kali Linux. All right, so again, as you pretty much guessed it, this is going to be involving the VMware workstation, and it's going to allow you to use Kali Linux to its fullest potential while uh, in a virtualized environment. So for example, after we've installed VMware tools, we'll be able to use the full screen mode, which will allow you to use uh, the multiple resolutions that Kali Linux has to offer. Because right now, as you can see, we can increase the resolution, but uh, the quality and uh, the smoothness of the user interface will be really, really slow. So VMware tools essentially give you a much better optimized version of Kali Linux. All right, so let's get started. It's really very simple, but for some reason, a lot of people find it very, very complicated. And I'm gonna try and make it as simple as possible. So what you wanna do is uh, hopefully you have your virtual machine running. If you're not, just start it up and log in. All right, so what we're gonna do is very, very simply, just go to the option here that says player, and you want to go into manage. And as you can see, there's gonna be an option here. It's gonna say install VMware tools. So we're gonna hit install VMware tools. All right, give it a few seconds. It should start up right away. All right, and it should give you a very, very interesting prompt. So again, a few seconds, just for it to load all the files into the virtual machine, or in this case, Kali Linux. And it should give you a uh, little disk image right over here. It should mount a disk image, uh, but let's check. If it doesn't give you that, uh, there we are. It's already mounted it. I just couldn't see it. So if it does not mount it to the desktop, what you want to do is just go into your file explorer, which is this little blue file I'm right here. It's very, very similar to Windows. Uh, but before that, I just want to increase the resolution of my virtual machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for settings for displays. All right. And I'm just going to increase the resolution. Uh, again, give it a few seconds. As you can see, the virtual machine is really, it's not that fast. And this is where uh, VMware tools will come in really, really handy because it uh, essentially optimizes of the virtual machine for Kali Linux, all right? For some reason, that's not opening up as well. So I pretty much, there we are, it has opened up. Let me just increase the resolution here to something a bit more appropriate so that we can see what's going on. There we are, let me apply that. And as you can see, it's really, really laggy. It's taking a lot of time to keep or save the changes. There we are, all right. So once that's done, I'm just gonna minimize that and we're gonna go back to our file explorer. And I'm just going to expand that like so. And as you can see, we have the VMware tools here, right over here. So there we are. That's the disk image. Now, once you open it up, uh, you can just double click it from the desktop or open it up in your file explorer. There's going to be a lot of files in here. There's going to be about five files. And the file you want to be paying attention to is the VMware tools extractable or archive. All right. So uh, what you want to do is I would recommend that you copy this to your desktop. All right because we just need to install what's inside. And once we've done that, uh, it's really, uh, we can pretty much get rid of it. So once it's copied to the desktop, what you wanna do is uh, just drag it wherever you feel is comfortable for you and right click it. And uh, I want you to just extract it here. All right, just click on extract it here. There we are, it's extracted the folder. And uh, you wanna open up this folder. 
uh, again, it's and it shouldn't take too much time as well because the the virtual machine is not very snappy at this moment. Let me just resize that. There we are. So it's going to be a single folder, and you want to open that as well. And in here, what you want to do is, uh, as you can see, there's a little install executable there or a shell file for that matter. But in this case, it is uh, that we need to install it using the terminal. So I want you to right click anywhere in this folder and just open in terminal. All right. Now it's going to open up the Linux terminal and I don't want you to be overwhelmed at all. Just follow the steps that I show you here. Let me increase the size of the font so you can see what I'm doing exactly. All right. So I'm going to minimize all of that. So make sure you've opened the folder. You've opened the terminal in the folder. As you can see, uh, the desktop VMware tools and furthermore VMware tools distribution. All right. Now I'm going to be using a few Linux commands. Do not be overwhelmed at all. Just follow my steps. We'll be looking at what all of these commands do. Now, the first command I'm going to be using is the ls command. And what this will do is it's going to list all the files in the directory so we can have a good idea of what is in and how we can use it. All right. So I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, it's going to list all the files. So the one that we really want to pay attention to is the VMware install.pl, which is a Perl file. So if you've heard of the Perl programming language, this is uh, an extension. And as you can see, it's highlighted in green. And you might be asking, well, what do we do now? Well, what we have to do is install this file. How do we install it? We use the Perl command, so P-E-R-L, and then we uh, fill in, so VMware, we give the file name. And uh, at this stage, what you want to do is you just want to use the tab button. All right. Now, one, what happens when you hit the tab button is it's going to auto complete it for you, as you can see, and just hit enter now. And it's going to say uh, installing VMware tools. And it's going to ask you uh, in which directory do you want to install the binary files? Just hit enter. All right. It's going to ask you what is the directory that contains the initial uh, directories? Just hit enter. Uh, initial scripts, just hit enter, enter, enter. And it's going to ask you uh, the path of VMware tools does not exist. Uh, the program is going to create it. Do I want to install it? Just hit yes, type in yes, and hit enter. All right, give it a few seconds as well. All right, now it's going to ask you uh, in which directory you want to install the common agent files. Uh, just hit enter. Don't worry about that. Enter again. Uh, the documentation, enter. Now it's going to ask you the, the, the directory does not exist. Do you want to create it? Yes, I do. Uh, again, yes. We want to hit yes. Uh, just uh, always just use the option yes because we really don't want to change anything. Otherwise, it would complicate the entire process and you would probably end up getting an error. OK, this is probably the best way of installing the VMware tools. There may be other ways of installing it, but those ways have uh, it's really been proven that they do not work uh, or they work only like 50 percent of the time for half uh, the amount of people. I can guarantee you that this will work on your system as well. We've been prompted with an option here. The VMware host guest file system allows for shared folders. Uh, now, this is really up to you, and uh, it essentially allows you to share folders from your host to your guest operating system. I'm just going to hit yes because I like that feature. Uh, do I want yes? I'm just going to hit yes again. VMware automatic kernel modules, yes again. Do I want to enable common agent? Uh, yes. Make sure everything is just yes. All right. Uh, the next, what it's essentially doing now is it's uh, looking for the display drivers which it'll get uh, depending on what, uh, whether or not you've selected your 3D graphic acceleration. So don't worry about this. Uh, it really doesn't matter. This is all about it's installing it and it'll give you a perfect optim optimization for your system. And then essentially just make your virtual machine run a lot faster and more efficient. All right. So as you can see, it's started creating a new boot image for the kernel. So it's essentially writing uh, changes to the kernel headers for Kali Linux. And just again, as I said, optimizing it for the virtual machine and for it's optimizing the virtual machine for Kali Linux, etc, uh, etc. Et okay, there we are. It's done. And it's going to say, um, enjoy the VMware team. Uh, all right, there we are. It's done. And it's going to automatically unmount the VMware, the VMware disk file, as you can see on the desktop. It's, it doesn't exist anymore. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this out. And uh, what you need to do is you need to restart your system or you can just log out and log back in. And one of the ways to test whether or not it's worked. Firstly, let me just get rid of these files because we don't need them anymore. Uh, one way to check whether it's worked is to use the full screen option uh, that does come with uh, VMware. So what we're going to do is we're just going to log out like so. Uh, again, there we are. It's going to prompt me to log out. All right, now we want to just log back in. So root, I'm going to enter in my password and it should start up quicker now because this is the second time we're logging back in. Or it could be a third time, depending on whether or not you restarted your virtual machine or your operating system for that matter. Okay. So again, a few seconds. All right. And you should be good to go. The VMware tools should be installed now. And as I said, the easiest way to know if everything is working as it should, what you want to do is you just want to go into uh, the toolbar up here and just go to the enter full screen mode. And if everything worked, it should scale the resolution completely to the resolution of your monitor. It should scale the display uh, to, to the absolute resolution of your monitor. And there we are. Looks really, really beautiful. And uh, everything should be snappy. Again, if it's taking, if it's still really, really slow, don't worry about that. It usually happens for the first few minutes or hours of your installation. It's just that the files are building up uh, essentially. And don't worry if it's really, really slow. Uh, it should work perfectly once the VMware tools are installed. So there we are. That's working perfectly. And uh, that's going to be it for this video.